Answer. Ninja, you'll be excited to use it for the first few times, but then you'll be excited for the day that it dies, and then you can get a Vitamix. What is the difference between Ninja and Vitamix? Today I'm gonna to read you notes that I've received from people that are going from Ninja to Vitamix. With one catch, since talking bad badly about anyone or anything is not allowed in our house, I'm gonna do push-ups for every note I read to you. One push-up for the first note, two push-ups for the second note, and so on. Thanks for being part of my journey to finally get rid of this ninja I've hated, literally, since the moment my friend bought it for me. Giant stacked blades in the corner of a machine? What a nightmare to clean. And boy, am I tired of chewing the kale in my smoothies because it never fully blends. I've purchased two ninjas and I'm sick of the blade breaking. I'm finally ripping off the band-aid. <sighs> okay, change of plans. That's too easy. We're gonna do two push-ups for everyone now. So number three is gonna be six. I have like 40 of these, but I'm gonna have to pick the best one because there's no way I can do 80 push-ups after doing 76 push-ups. <laughs> I usually take days, if not weeks, to make a purchase. But my current ninja blender died this morning and I've been wanting a Vitamix for years. Your videos made me feel confident that I was making the right choice. That was boring, so I'm gonna double it for this one too. So that was number three. We're doing two for each, that's six, doubling it now. That's 12 push-ups. One, two, three, four. Uh, sweatshirt's gonna have to come off. Oh, this one's good. Can you help with my Vitamix choice? I'm used to my Ninja Blender with 57 attachments and none working like I needed them to. So this one is number four, so we'll do eight. Two. Three, oh, this one's four, great. Five, six, seven, eight. We just returned home from a trip from Australia where we stayed with friends who had the A2300. We had delicious smoothies every morning. Now back home, our ninja pales in comparison. My wife has given me an ultimatum. Either we get a Vitamix or she finds someone else. <laughs> I think that was number five. Here we go. One, two. Oh, this one's so good. From a customer of ours who got a Vitamix after her ninja broke, replying to a, how'd you find us question? She said, I found you after searching, should my smoothie be gritty? How can we punish me more for doing this obnoxious exercise? Should we go outside? I think that was only 10, so I owe you a few more. This one's actually embarrassing. I'm not even comfortable with this one. We use a Ninja Auto IQ and an older Oster Beehive Blender. Time to move on from these. I'm ready to spend $600 for my health. Which is completely absurd. You shouldn't have to spend $600 for your health and you don't, you can usually get a Vitamix for $300. Not six, <laughs> but I think I owe you 14 bucks. Um. Kinda of starting to get tired. This one actually like makes me wanna cry, sorta. Let's do this. We started blending daily about two weeks ago using our Ninja. I can easily see how someone could completely fail at starting this path and entirely think that that's as good as it gets. Our green juice was tasty, but the texture was hideous. Take a sip, filter out the solids with my teeth, swallow the yummy juice, then chew up the rest like a cow chewing curd. I think that's 16. Push ups. Okay. Somehow this has become like an office tour, too. One, two, three, 12, 13, 14. It's probably not fair just to compare Ninja versus Vitamix. So here's a guy who's had like five different blenders. I have a Champion Juicer, a Five Star Juicer, a Cuisinart Food Processor, a KitchenAid Overarm Mixer, and an Electric Stainless Wok, that's not a mixing thing, and a really nice Cuisinart Toaster. He knows nice stuff. Oh yeah. I got this ninja thing some years ago and it went straight to the trash. <laughs> oh, I think that's 18, 18 push-ups for that obnoxious quote. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of running out of gas. <laughs> we had a vacuum cleaner which didn't vacuum at all and one day my husband came to me and said, our vacuum cleaner died. We need a new one. She said, what happened? Oh, I just smashed it. And the same road Ninja should take too. <laughs> Four, five, six. All right, I'm gonna do rapid fire and do as many as I can. 
and then do as many push-ups as, as I possibly can, and then we'll be done. I had an injury before and the Vitamix is so much quieter and it blends so much smoother and way less time. I really couldn't believe the difference. I am really glad I finally took the plunge. Next. Hello, I've been looking at Vitamixes for years and I just couldn't take the plunge because I feel like why am I buying a Ninja every two years that wears out and I could save money in the long run because Vitamix lasts forever. Not forever, they're, get, they're warranted for up to 10 years but they usually last longer than that. I currently own a Ninja 1100. It's the low end of high end blenders, but in my opinion, it's kind of disappointing. I really want to purchase a Vitamix mainly for our son who's autistic and has sensory disorders. I can't get him to eat fruits or vegetables in solid form, but in blended form, he eats them. Our ninja leaves seeds and chunks of fruit, vegetables, or an ice cube or two, and when I'm making ice cream, he can't tolerate with his sensory disorder. I hear that Vitamix makes everything super smooth. Yes, yes it does. Our son Judah, he has Down syndrome. He drinks green juice and then has like toast and granola bars. That's pretty much his diet. Blended kale and fruit and seed juice. He schleps it around, has it every day for breakfast, has it after school, has it for lunch, yes. Help, which Vitamix should I get? I currently do not have a blender because my Ninja, S-H-I-T the bed, and I've got war wounds to prove that I do not want another one. That was rapid fire. I'm gonna do push-ups till I can't anymore. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Plenty of life is no yoke. Thanks for hanging out. Ninja versus Vitamix. Go with a Ninja if you don't have anything. It's a good entry level blender. Sort of, it'll get you going for a little bit. It'll get you into making smoothies and then when you're ready, we'll be here. We're not going anywhere. We do Vitamix everything. We've been doing it for 10 years. Thanks again. Life is no yoke. Let's do some more push-ups. All right, bring in the pain. I'm gonna try for 50. Here we go. One, two. Oh man. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. These right here, these are Pain in the mouth cookbooks. They're a marketing thing that orthodontists buy to give to their patients with sore teeth that have braces tightened or Invisalign adjustments. The pain in the mouth cookbook. You can get them from your ortho, orthodontist, or if your orthodontist doesn't currently have them, we'll send you one to their orthodontist office. Go to paininthemouth.com slash free. You have to be, you just have to go to a, a proper orthodontist. Can't be a general dentist that does Invisalign, unfortunately, because those guys usually aren't interested in giving these. They don't have enough patients to give these to. We'll send you a free Pain in the Mouth cookbook if you go to an orthodontist and you go to paininthemouth.com slash free. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, guys. These are good for Vitamix or Ninja blenders, whichever one you have. Life is no yoke, thanks. Should we do a dad bod thirst trap? I don't know, we'll see if it works. Here we go. It's pretty good. Good lighting. Thanks for watching.